Hi everybody, Dan here. Today I'm going to show you how to animate a night sky with stars shining with a gleam that changes from bright to faint. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button. I try to publish Blender tutorials weekly and your support is all I need to keep going. Our scene is completely empty. Our only object in the scene is a plane, which is without any subdivision and the plane is used to create these reflections, so to reflect the stars, something similar to the sea at night. It's a very simple shader, principal shader, some roughness, a bump node and the noise to create the waves. I also animated the waves, as you can see animating the mapping value, you can animate the movement of the waves. Moving to the main character, to the star of this uh, star tutorial, this is the network of nodes to create these effects. But let's start from the basics. I use this HDRI of uh, a night sky, which is a 360 image downloaded from HDRI Haven. It's called Satar Night if you want to download it. Actually, I'm using a quite low resolution. You may want to go to the higher resolution to get more detail and especially in the sky, it's important. Once we load the HDRI in our scene, this is how it would look like. We would see all the trees, some of the sky, very bright. Doesn't look any promising at all. The first part I would change the position of the HDRI. I disable all the nodes that I already added just to uh, be quicker. So with the mapping node, we'll move the HDRI below the horizon. So I don't see any part of the uh, trees and landscape that I don't need. Then I would change RGB to black and white. So with this node here, and the reason is because I don't want any color in the sky. I would also now try to clean this noise and keep only the brightest dots in the sky, which are the stars that I need. I added the RGB curves node. And as you can see, I already have a nice white starry sky. Of course, we have Bloom enabled, that will make the brightest stars shine. And I also increase the intensity of the old background. The second part is adding some color to uh, these stars. I'm not going to add the real color because I didn't have a good enough image. So I create my own color, which is given by a noise texture, inside a magic texture, I'm going to show you exactly how it look like. And then I change the contrast, use saturation to shift a little bit. And then it's going to be mixed with our white stars. So let me show you what this part of the shading network does, is this fancy abstract color in the sky which is gonna be mixed to our stars given from the image i'll change the mode of the mix rgb to color and i also moved towards the color of course here you can decide how much color you want in your scene depending on the style you are trying to achieve. And this is the way I gave this star some color. The mix RGB, it becomes our color output for the background node. And here we have already our sky. Now, our stars are here static. We want to have them twinkling, seeing the change in the brightness of the stars. In order to do this, we need something to mask some of the stars in a, I would say, random way. So I created a mix shader. One of the two 
a shade that is gonna be a background black that means that you are not gonna see the stars where it's black and the second background is gonna be our colored stars Come it here and at the moment nothing's changing because there's nothing deciding which stars are gonna be seen and which stars are gonna be hidden so we need something to connect here and decide this dynamically and here is the third part of the shader network i'm going to show you this color ramp on its own first this is our mask the darkest parts are the parts where the stars will be dimmed or completely disappear depending on the initial uh, brightness and the brightest part of this map are gonna be where the stars are gonna be the brightest as you can see the darkest part is not the black because I didn't want them to disappear completely I want them to just dim the real effect in nature is given by uh, atmosphere changes and clouds in front of the stars so you can decide what kind of clouds let's say that this could be our cloud map which is not a volumetric map but it's just a 2d effects on the hdri here's the noise texture value there is a mapping and of course it's animated as you can see i animated the location of the map and would change in a kind of unpredictable way and this is the key you don't want to uh, see a pattern in the changing of lights you don't want to see movements you don't want the light to change from left to right you want them to be as random as possible so final step is applying our color ramp here and again the shader out and here we have our stars and you can see as the value changes it just move around the noise map creating this kind of random change in brightness of the stars with the same technique you can create for example a the change in brightness on a Christmas tree you can also decide you don't want all this color in the stars so you can decrease the amount of color or you, for example if you want the stars in a specific color you can just decide the color you want and here it is and again with the same technique you can simulate fireflies for example i hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial and if you have any comments or doubt or request for a next video please leave a comment below thank you very much bye